Starscream. No! Oh, but what if Starscream? Yes! If you missed the Power of the Prime Starscream review, I'll give a quick rundown. I always wanted a decent Voyager class Starscream based on the classic style, and they did grant it with changes, and I was grateful aside from one thing, it sucked! Yeah, I was initially upset, hoping it wasn't gonna take long until the next Starscream. Oh, what a shame. Then suddenly, Siege released a brand spanking new Starscream! Damn it, Siege! You're really sucking me in! Siege Starscream comes in the second wave of the toy line, and this is a Starscream worthy to be locked in an escape room with Loki, just imagine. Running with the line, Starscream isn't an F-15 this time. Is he A, a deformed Imperial shuttle, B, a Star Fox ship, C, the Cybertronian jet based on the first episode of the cartoon, or D, the Triforce. Inspired by the Tetrajet mode from the episode More Than Meets the Eye Part 1. But is it really a Tetrajet if the top is just a stylized air conditioner? The jet is detailed like the surface of a Star Destroyer, with complex panels coating the smooth shape. It's also covered with the Siege battle marks. Gunmetal splotches over a dull gray color. Doesn't always blend, but there's been worse. I love how the nose cone flows down the entire body of the jet even with the flat cockpit. Don't let this fool you, underneath is just the entire arms and legs. But what did you expect from a jet former? At least you can take out his legs, and I think this is robot anime. It locks in pretty solidly, with the arms and wings tabbing in all together, and hooked into the chest flap that- uh oh. This is gonna be biased, but I really don't mind it. The tit jets look like additional boosters. And when you think about it, where would the cockpit go? In Generation 1, his robot form was based on the continued F-15 style, primarily used in the show. But the Cybertron form has this distinctive alternate shapes. I'd like to think of this as some alien powered charger that would eventually form the new cockpit once he arrives on Earth. And nipples? There's a hole at the bottom of the wings to add the null race, but thanks to the arms, there's two additional portholes in different angles, and I appreciate that variety even by accident. You can have it in the normal look, angled to be slick, or sideways to flatten it into the wings, or buy the repaints and try them all! Oh thank goodness, we could just shove this old heap off to the side. Say what you want about the kibble, but at least there's a sense of we know what we're fucking doing and not shoving things into a broken jet! Did I mention this was terrible? I appreciate that we now have a Tetra Jet Seeker mold, and I respect this outline. It's a nice change from what we've gotten used to, and I think it's exactly what we need. Robot mode! returns to a more familiar route, but sadly the paint is lackluster. There's so much that needs small little touches of color, and not just this gray smudge that makes the legs look like concrete. It just sets me back from any anticipation. Oh well, let's just mess with him and see how he is. I see things differently now! Food tastes better, except for sour cream, that shit's awful! The mold is very solid, the joints are fair, there's a good heft, even with the backpack, which, if you think about it, isn't even that bad. There's even a flap that tabs between the towering shoulders to keep it in place, although it's hard to jam everything in. See, Megatron? If it wasn't for your arrogance, you'd learn something! The helmet looks a bit bloated, but the detail is right for Starscream. What I really appreciate is, while most of the transparent plastic is orange, his eyes are deep red. Yep, whole new color mold just for the eyes, and they look awesome. Did someone say, ARTICULATION! Ball jointed head, butterfly joint, shoulders up and down, forward and back, rotation below, double elbow, wrist rotation, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward and back, rotation below, knee bend, foot forward and back, and tilt. Boastability is pretty good, even making me consider getting an adapting stand to shove up his prolapse. The wings can also move up and down and forward and back, just to give you alternate looks. Fly star scream, you beautiful screecher! I personally like slightly tilting the wings up. 
He's looking good. However, there are some issues to look for. I do like how the arms open up for the transformation, allowing the arms to extend and hand to fold out. Just the way the hand is placed and still designed to rotate at the fist. However, doing so might accidentally open it up. I really appreciate the panels that spring out of the legs, but don't expect it to fold in by itself just from bending the knee. By the angles, math, and some other sciencey words, it just slaps in there unless you give it a little manual shove. Also, while I haven't done it and probably won't, you should probably consider shaving the corners of the hip panels, as they get in the way of the outward movement. You can get past it, but it's a consideration. Since we're talking about flaws, there's no pin holding the chest, and the nubs are too soft to really keep it in place. If I'm slow enough, usually it sticks to one side, which I can work with. I know people mind this to insert a pin, but honestly, I don't recommend doing so. I heard that it usually stresses the plastic, and how this is shaped, it feels like it's also being forced out of place by the mold, and not just my aggressive caveman strength. Just a quick note of the box art, it looks like he was meant to have leg wings. Shame, it would have beefed him up, and while I understand, he doesn't look happy. Ah! Let's take a look at the weapons. In the Siege line, I'm sure there's an overly complicated name, but we all know this as the Null Rays. Oh no, holes on the lower arm? Not again! Put him on the shoulders! Damn it, Hasbro, why did you- Oh, they go here. Am I sensitive? I sort of shrug at these, they're bland, they don't look like the Null Rays, but just ordinary rifles for some other figure. Hell, with the scope, it could pass for an updated Megatron weapon mode. <laughs> you can give them the power of the Prime's weapons, or hey, with the leader, those siege holes come in handy. Suck it, Megatron! You can attach siege blast effects to the front and back, but there's no holes to attach other weapons like some of the other figure accessories. Plus, I feel like they could have separate the front and back midway somehow with the peg. It could bring at least some interesting opportunities. So power with the primes. There's no damn competition. He may lack in added colors, but beats the shit face stickers. You can't tell me otherwise. I mean, see the tiny symbol in the wings? Yeah, and you want to cover that up with a sticker? Shame on you. But at least you can port weapons on these back boosters that jet them forward in Supersonic Supremo. Also in the wings, shoulders, side of the arms, hands, and side of the leg. I would say feet, but they don't seem to work well. If the shoe fits, which it doesn't. Typical with the Siege line, he does have blast ports in certain areas. And how can I forget the nose cone section that splits and comes up to form the shoulder towers. Great for housing the tiny civilization of hamsters. And how the glass breaks in the rotation. That's abnormal. Get it? Ab? Like his abs? Normal? I strangely have sub. There's some things you gotta look out for, and honestly, I hesitated getting this, but I'll say this. Starscream is much better than Soundwave. Some of the issues seem to sink him down, while Starscream has a solid alt mode and issues you could look past. Superior compared to the Power of the Prime's counterpart in Voyager scale, this feels right, and has got me excited to see what repaints will come out after, if we ever do get more aside from the ones announced. If you want a decent scale Starscream, this is your figure. All hail Starscream! Eh, fine, you get a participation sticker. I just wanted to quickly say a huge thanks to the Dabber Supreme who got me a voice clip of Frank Walker as Megatron that you heard earlier in the video. That is awesome, so I really do appreciate it. There will be a link down in the description.